okay um hello buddy this is me dishan hasan and in this session we will discuss the <coughs> audit report so uh as far as the audit report is concerned first of all we need to know the objectives of, of the auditor right uh, so according to isa 700 revised warming and opinion reporting on financial statements what are the auditor objectives auditor objectives are number one to form an opinion on financial statements to form an opinion on financial statements based on an evaluation of the conclusions draw uh, drawn from the audit evidence obtained number 2 objective is to express an opinion through a written report to express an opinion to a written report a written report that also describes the basis for that opinion when auditor concludes that financial statements are prepared in all material respects in accordance with the applicable financial reporting framework they issue an an unmodified audit opinion in the auditor's report right uh, when there is no matters which the auditor wishes to draw to attention of the users they will issue an unmodified opinion or you can say unqualified opinion right uh, that means the report audit report is entirely clean and full to go okay so let me write it for you as well that if there are no matter which auditor wishes to draw attention of users they will issue a modified report okay then we have independent auditor reports so in independent auditors report means isa 700 revise uh, give you the give us the for, uh, the structure for the audit reports and as per the structure what is uh, the the structure of audit report first of all Uh, address it to the shareholders if, uh, or review report to the shareholders if it is the other assurance engagement then it will be to the uh, address it will be the management but
So what I said firstly, we will uh, add the address to whom we will address the report, then auditor's opinion, uh, like is it unmodified opinion or the qualified opinion, etc. And then basis for opinion, the reason for giving above opinion paragraph that is. And then next one, we have material uncertainty regarding going concern if it is applicable then we will give it otherwise not going concern right i am writing if it is applicable that means it is not necessary that we will include it right if there is any issues regarding the foregoing concern then we will include it otherwise not then next in phases of matter paragraph if there is if it is applicable again as well uh, and in case of companies we In case of uh, companies, we will include key audit matters and we won't include in phases of matter paragraphs. We will discuss about the key audit matter class uh, in more detail. In a while. Then we will inform right and then. responsibilities of management in this paragraph we will uh, state the preparation of financial statement and those are the skills of management and not the auditors Next para regarding the then other matters which came will be uh, uh, present in this paragraph if we all right so after other app matter if applicable what we will consider we will consider now the simple thing After that, um, okay, name of engagement partner and then 
auditor said Right, so uh, other matters, as I said, is if applicable, and then we will um, state the name of engagement partner, the audit partner, then we will uh, state the auditor's address and the date of signing of audit report. So that's the uh, contents of in, uh, independent auditor's report. Right, um, so far so good. Um, after that, we will discuss in detail about the key audit matters. So, uh, what does key audit matters include? Key audit matters include number one, areas of higher assess risk of material misstatement. misstatement or significant risk uh, which were added in the final accountants with the ISA International Standard of Auditing 315 revised identifying and assessing the risk of material misstatement through understanding the identity and its environment, right? Uh, you do not need to state the name of the standards in the examination, either it is F8 or P7. Number two, uh, significant auditor judgments relating to areas in the financial statements, relating to areas in financial statements that involve significant uh, management judgment including accounting estimates, which have been identified as having estimation uncertainty. And the third one, that is the, uh, the effect on the audit of significant events. or transactions that occurred during P. Right, so what are the examples of uh, which can be included in key audit matters? Number one, significant fraud risk. Goodwill. Uh, 
valuation of financial instruments. Fair values. Another is uh, effects of new accounting standards. Uh, revenue recognition. Material provision such as restructuring provision. Implementation of new IT system. So this can be the part of uh, um, the audit matters. So One thing more, if there are no key audit matters to communicate, auditor shall discuss with the engagement quality country, uh, control reviewer. If one has been appointed and then compute his, communicate his conclusion to those charged with governance, explain in key audit matter section of the auditor's report that there are no matters to report. Right, um, so far, so good. Now, let me give you a little bit more explanation on this other matters uh, of the contents of audit report. Firstly, we have title, right? In title, as I said, uh, told you earlier, what is this? Uh, simply to clearly identify it. Identify the report as an independent auditor's report. Addressee, addressee, who will be the intended user of the report? Auditor's opinion, as I told earlier. Uh, auditor's conclusion. What is the auditor's conclusion about overall report? Either it is an unmodified opinion or the modified opinion. Either is it giving it to and favor you or not. Then basis for opinion. Well, the reason why we are giving that opinion uh, provides a description of the professional standards applied during the audit to provide confidence to users that the report can be relied upon. Key audit matters, uh, as I told, it is for the listed entities only and to draw attention to any other uh, significant matters of which the user should be aware to aid their understanding of the entity. And repeating it again because students do make mistakes that it is only for listed entity companies not, it will not uh, go for the, it will, it will be not uh, be given to the companies who are not listed. Other information, uh, then we have, okay, now about uh, the other information over here, right, simply to clarify, management are responsible for other response uh, informations auditor opinion does not cover the information other information and audit it is only to read the other information and report in accordance with isa 720 responsibilities of management again to uh, clarify uh, the duties and uh, of the management, they are responsible preparing financial statements and implementation of internal controls are their responsibility. 
whereas in auditor's responsibility, we will identify or clarify the responsibility for expressing a reasonable assurance on the financial statement, either if it's giving a twin pay view or not, right? Other matters, other reporting responsibilities, if there is uh, applicable, highlight any additional reporting responsibilities. This may include responsibilities in some, some jurisdictions to report on the adequacy of the accounting records, internal controls over financial reporting, other information published with the statements. Then we have the name of the engagement partner, the signature, the auditor's address and date, right? Uh, I hope uh, it's more clear to you now, uh, guys. Then we have expectation gap. So what is expectation gap? The difference between professional reality and common man perception. Is expectation gap. Now what's that? See, for example, it's your father, right? And your father, is a common man, he's not aware about the auditing and accounting rules, X, Y, Z, right? Uh, he got the audit report. Of company named Apple, right? And in that report, it was stated that this financial statement presents who and fair view in all material respects. But after reading it, your uh, father said excitedly, do wow, this financial statement does not contain any sort of misstatements. Uh, it does not contain any sort of mistakes. Whereas you are aware about the professional reality that there are a lot of um, estimations in the report and all that, and uh, it can't be perfectly correct. And you are uh, smiling at the heart. Oh, dog, dad, you are so innocent. You don't know that there are so... Uh, much estimations uh, over there which cannot be 100% correct. So that's the difference between the professional reality and the perception of the common man is expect, uh, expectation gap. And, and uh, how can the expectation gap can be narrowed by giving a detailed disclosures into the financial statement? Okay. I hope um, you got it till here. Now, we will look at next part, which is forming an opinion. auditor's report unmodified report we have and then we have other type which is modified report An unmodified report, simply we already discussed that it is a clean report which, uh, which states that financial statements are uh, pre presents to and fair in all material respects and they are prepared according to the applicable financial reporting framework and all of the standards, right? We already discussed that its reports contents uh, are title, addressee. Then we have opinion paragraph, then we have basis for opinion.
then we have key audit matters uh, which we can set as cams then we have further information then we have responsibilities uh, responsibilities of management and the responsibilities of auditor separately and then finally we have signature date address of the firm right now the thing is which we have to uh, look in that is uh, that is um, modified report we have two types of modified reports one is modified report but which gives unmodified opinion and other is a modified opinion so simply uh, unmodified opinion in modified report when we have an unmodified opinion what we'll say uh, simply uh, we will give additional communication regarding the material uncertainty if there is any we will give uh, material uncertainty uh, related to going concern right if there is any related to going concern if there is any then uh, in phases of matter remember that if the company is scam then we do not need to give in cases of matter paragraph then we will tell about the other matters and uh, other information finally uh, we have uh, after that we have modified opinion modified opinion uh, financial statements are materially misstated and when auditor unable to obtain sufficient appropriate evidence so when a modified opinion when financial statements are materially misstated first uh, let us discuss this part even in this part uh, this part of financial uh, that is financial statements are materially misstated will be broken into uh, two parts and what are those when it is material and not pervasive second when it is material and pervasive <clears throat> pervasive means when certain amount or even in is hitting more than one accounts so for example part of revenue is hitting cost and payables inventory etc right so pervasive when the um, financial statements are materially misstated they are material and not pervasive then what we will do we will provide qualified opinion 
but when it is material and pervasive as well, we will give adverse opinion. Okay. Um, in the case when auditors are unable to obtain sufficient appropriate evidence due to uh, certain scenario, for example, auditor went for an audit, but uh, the warehouse got burned by a fire or storm came in, everything was destroyed. Such scenarios, right? Where due to those scenarios, auditors are unable to obtain sufficient appropriate evidence. So in this scenario, if the matter is material and pervasive and other scenarios material and pervasive so if the matter is material and not pervasive we will give qualified opinion If the matter is material and pervasive as well, it will be unfair that we, if we provide uh, adverse opinion in this scenario because uh, it's not done by the client deliberately. It happened because of natural disaster or something like that, which was not in control. So that's why we will give them disclaimer of opinion. I hope you get it till here, right? So far, so good. Now let us discuss the the matters by certain paragraphs will be included into the financial statement. Number one, material and certainty. It will be included when it is it will be included when there is some material uncertainty. Regarding going concern status, which the directors have adequately disclosed in the financial statement, the auditor uses this section to draw the attention of the users to the client's uh, disclosure note. That's it. Uh, and it, as I stated earlier, it will be uh, come below the then. In phases of matter paragraph, in the matter paragraph. In phases of matter paragraph are used to refer to a matter that has been adequately
present or disclosed. And so, okay. And auditors judgment is that these matters of such importance to users understanding of financial statements that auditor should emphasize disclosure right uh, and ob obviously these are in case of not listed entity because in listed entity those would have been discussed in the key audit matters uh, already right now you might be uh, thinking about the example so don't worry folks i'm giving you the examples for instances of meta paragraph over here number one where financial statements have been prepared on a basis other than going concern basis number two an uncertainty relating to the future relating to the future outcome of exceptional litigation or regulatory action number 3 a significant subsequent event that occurs between the date of financial statement and date of auditor's report number 4 where the corresponding figures have been restated where the financial statement have been recalled and reissued or when audit point and amended report 
again it will come below the basis for uh, opinion section all right matters report and in faces of matter paragraph may be presented either directly before or after the key audit matter section based on auditor's judgment as to the relative uh, significance of the information included in the faces of matter paragraph okay so uh, it can be included if there are more of the matters because in key audit matters uh, earlier i stated that it won't came if uh, key audit matters is there but 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 standard says that if there are more the if the limitation of key audit matter is that we only uh, include three matters in key audit matters so we have more than three matters then which uh, which cannot be covered in key audit matters then we will surely include the emphasis of matter paragraph and we can write it before or after it okay so that's the case and then next one other matter paragraph <clears throat> other matter paragraph other matter paragraph uh, um, teacher will include it in the auditor's report auditor's report if the auditors consider necessary to communicate to the users regarding matters that are not that are not presented or disclosed in the financial statements that in the auditor's judgment are relevant to the understanding the audit the auditor's responsibilities or the auditor's report right now again uh, you might be asking for the examples for this so number 1 to communicate that auditor report is intended solely for the intended users and should not be distributed by other parties to explain why 
auditor has not resigned. When a previous inability to obtain sufficient appropriate evidence uh, is imposed by management, okay, imposed by management, for example, denying the auditor access to books and records, but the auditor is unable, unable to withdraw from the engagement due to legal restrictions. Number three. Number three, to communicate audit planning and scope matters. And scope matters where laws or regulations requires. As far as the position in the auditor's report is considered uh, concerned, when another matter paragraph is included to draw the user's attention to matters relating to other responsibilities, address in the audit report, the paragraph may be included in the report on the other legal and regulatory requirement section. Okay. Next part is uh, other information. So as far as the other information is concerned, uh, it refers to financial and non-financial information other than the financial statements auditors report they are on included into annual report there is not necessarily subject to audit okay uh, for now the examples of other information uh, chairman report um, operating and financial review Social and in environmental reports. Corporate governance statements. Right. <clears throat> Other information included in the auditor's report below the basis for opinion and key audit matter section and above the responsibilities of management. So far, so good. I hope you get it. Till here. And uh, Right, uh, modifications to audit opinion, although we have discussed them, but let us uh, discuss uh, modifications to the audit opinion in more detail. When auditor may decide, they need to modify the opinion when they can do that based on all, all evidence obtained. Financial statements are not free from material statement, statement, then client has not complied with applicable reporting framework. This is where we have to uh, give, we have to modify the audit opinion, right? So, firstly, let us discuss material but not pervasive.
So as I stated earlier, if a uh, misstatement or lack of sufficient or appropriate evidence is material but not pervasive qualified opinion will be issued this matter is material to area of financial statement affected but does not affect the remainder of financial statements so what we will do we will say except for this matter financial statement gave a true and fair view while significant to users decision making material matter can be isolated while the remainder of the financial statement uh, may be relied upon then material and pervasive a matter is considered pervasive in the auditor's judgment when the effects are not confined to specific elements accounts or items of the financial statements if so confined represent or could represent a substantial proportion of the financial statement in relation to disclosures are fundamental to users understanding 
of financial statements in brief a pervasive matter must be fundamental to the financial statements therefore rendering them unreliable as a whole then adverse opinion an adverse opinion is issued when a misstatement is considered material and pervasive this will mean that financial statement do not give true and fair view for example written of financial statement on wrong basis non consolidation of subsidiary number 3 material misstatement of balance which represent a substantial proportion of the assets or profits example would change profit or loss and then disclaimer of opinion disclaimer of opinion issued when the auditor has not obtained obtained sufficient appropriate evidence and the effects of any possible misstatement miss the statements that could be pervasive auditor does not express opinion on financial statement in this situation hmm. all right now why it would happen let us discuss the examples
failure by client to keep accounting records refusal by directors to provide uh, 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 written representation failure by client to provide evidence over a single balance which represent substantial proportion of the assets assets or profit or loss or over manipulate balances in the financial statements So, what can be the impact of uh, disclosure of opinion? The statements that uh, uh, that sufficient appropriate evidence to provide a basis for the auditor's opinion has been obtained is not included. Financial statement have been ordered to be engaged to audit the financial statements. Key audit matters section is not included in the report to do so would suggest financial statement are more credible in relation to those matters which could be inconsistent with the disclosure of opinion, right? So, uh, that's uh, the reasons, uh, the detail of the qualified opinions. I hope you get it till here. And if you get it till here, that means you got the whole of the audit reporting. Well, if you guys have any questions, questions into the comment of this uh, lesson video, and if you understand the topic well, please do like the video, share with others so that others would get the benefit as well, right? And do subscribe the channel, do like the page, follow the page. So that you will get the future notifications as well and you won't miss anything important also you will get a lot of uh, motivational videos and uh, self-help videos on this channel and this page as well which will help you in your life uh, till then till the next video bye bye